Looks like the Google team doesn't actually sleep because they just dropped a new AI super agent that you can access completely for free. And this is something that lets you create AI workflows to automate and build almost anything. Let me introduce Super Gems inside Gemini. Super Gems is something that was just launched today and it is created by merging Opal workflows directly inside the Gemini Gems Manager. This means that you can now build AI workflows using a guided workflow builder that automatically generates the prompts, the steps, and even the UI for you. You get instant previews and you can share your workflows publicly with a simple link. And if you already use Opal, you can actually have it so that you can migrate your existing apps that are automatically then sent over to MyGems from the labs. And if you're wondering what Opal is, it is Google's tool that was designed to build AI powered mini apps. But now instead of using it separately, you can run it within the Super AI agent directly within the Gemini web app as an experimental Super Gem. For example, just take a look at this recipe genie app that was built using Super Gems. You can transform your bridge leftovers into full on meals. You simply just describe ingredients or even upload an image and it will use the Gemini models multimodal capabilities so that gems can instantly generate a personalized recipe for you. What's cool is that this isn't just a responsive in chat app. It's a mini app that lets you basically edit, customize and iterate on recipes directly inside the workflow. This is a great example of how super gems can turn Gemini into not just a chatbot, but into an interactive AI application builder. All you need to do is head over to the Gemini app, which you can access on the phone as well as through your desktop. And once you sign in with the Google account, you can click on the expand menu button, which is where you will see gems. If you click on this, you're going to be able to now access super gems. And this is where Opal is now integrated inside super gems so that you can share and create various sorts of automations, mini apps, as well as workflows to automate different sorts of things. Have you met the new model everyone's talking about, Nano Banana Pro? I thought I'd seen it all until I tried Pro inside Love Art. Suddenly, every doodle, mark, and brushstroke made sense. If you want to Pro smart, you Pro on Love Art. Love Art isn't just an AI. It's your full-time design agent, where you can generate images, videos, 3D assets, and edit everything with Photoshop level precision. With Nano Banana Pro integrated, every output becomes a fully editable design file. The Nano Banana model gives smarter visuals, perfect multilingual text, character consistency for up to five people, mixing up to 14 images, and 2K to 4K resolution. Pair it with Love Art, that's next level. Batch generation, natural language editing, and logical workflows. With Love Art, you get batch generation, natural language editing, and logical workflows. You can simply type something like change this color or give me five variants and Love Art handles it. You have a touch edit feature that lets you click and change any part of your image, edit elements instantly with different layers, and with every Nano Banana model image. You can change the foreground, background, object, text, which is all fully editable. You can isolate layers, recolor, swap characters, batch generate brand systems, or turn tutorials into clean visual cards in seconds. This is the capability of Love Art, and thanks to them for sponsoring today's video. Use the link in the description below and experience Nano Banana Pro inside Love Art. If you want to Pro Smart, you've got a Pro on Love Art. And the great thing is that there are a lot of other templates that you can readily access from marketing all the way to Claymation Explorer learning from YouTube videos, there's many different mini apps that have been created with super gems. And I know this might be confusing, but essentially gems are different customized variants of the Gemini model. They're basically predefined AI chatbots off of the Gemini models where you can customize an existing template or create a new one from scratch, which you can do by simply clicking on new gem. You can provide a name for the AI agent, and in this case, once it's created, all your gems live in one place where you can create them anytime or start chatting with them immediately so that you can use it to execute different sorts of tasks. So for example, if I'm creating a gem, I can give it a name like a YouTube research gem and its job is to basically summarize and extract insights from YouTube content. It can summarize key points from video transcripts, 
extract actionable takeaways relevant to your niche, whether that's marketing tactics, SEO tips, or tech trends, generating research reports, as well as creating summaries on the title, descriptions, tags, extracting all these contents. Now, you can also provide knowledge to help the AI agent with better context relevance, and you can actually now save this so that you can use it whenever you want. But now you can ask it questions on anything. So after saving the gem, I can ask it anything like, tell me more about my video on open code. And I can provide the URL and it is going to be able to now do deep research with the Gemini model. And this is based off of the gems that I created. And you can see that it is able to go into the transcript and get key insights off of the video. And this is just a simple AI agent that I created with the textual prompt directly within Super Agents Manager. And you can see that it also gives me a structured research summary, it gives me timestamps as to what I'm talking about in each and every step of this video. And overall, it gives me the content planning suggestion like the title, which you had requested, the topic cluster, as well as the video description tags. In the same manner, you can create various sorts of gem managers. Think of it like an AI coding agent that is associated with the Gemini models. And you can create something like a coding partner, a learning coach, or various sorts of chatbots that can help you in various ways. You can even play chess with the language model, which is actually pretty interesting. So in this case, you can ask it, let's play chess. I start with E4. You can directly talk to the AI model with this specific AI gem, and you can actually tell it where you want to move, what sort of next step you want to play, and it will actually respond and play with this graph that it has generated. In my opinion, that is something that is super simple that you, anyone can actually create with any platform. But the new gems feature is where you have the ability to create more predefined gems with more features. You can describe the mini AI agent that you want to create. Like for example, analyzing a meeting transcript and drafting an email after each meeting like the key action items is a mini app that you can actually create with the front end. And this is where it is being built directly within the Gemini app. You can configure it like how you would with Opal, where you have different nodes that have different predefined uh, actions. And you can basically edit this by opening the advanced editor, where you can open up Opal and you can actually configure each and every node further. So in this case, this is the meeting app that it created. It's a really simple meeting app. And you can see that this is the user flow where it starts off with the user input where you paste in your meeting transcript. The second node is processing the meeting transcript. And this is the system prompt that was developed by the, uh, the gem agent. And you can then see that it generates a draft email and it is able to automate this whole process with this node. You can add in different nodes to automate different processes. You can add in configurations to the overall uh, configuration of how it's being outputted. You can even add assets like uploading files, adding a drive, a YouTube link, text, or even drawings. So for example, this is our app. I can click start and I can paste in my meeting transcript over here. This is a long transcript of a call and I can send this in to the Gemini agent, which is where it is going to process and generate a summary email based off of the transcript of our call. And you can see that it will now generate that email where it has created the meeting summary as well as the action items. And now it can draft up an email. You can download the file or even share the output. This is a really simple app that it created based off of a single prompt with the SuperGem agent. Essentially with SuperGems combined with Opal, you're going to be able to create various sorts of AI agents with enhanced capabilities, especially with it being powered by the Gemini models with the ability to use any of its multimodal capabilities from VO3 to something like its nano banana model to generate visuals. This is a flow where it can create any sort of game based off of the prompt that you give it. And this is something that is generating a game based in New York with a sci-fi theme. It gives you the pretense, it even generates a video, which is really cool with the VO3 model. And this is just a simple, cool little app that was built, but it showcases how it uses different multimodal uh, models and how it's able to use this flow to generate whatever you had requested.
based off of that prompt. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. Overall, this new super gem update is uh, something that I believe they're working on to create an alternative to Nathan, Zapier, and many of these automation platforms. And sooner or later, they are going to be tapping into that because it's Google, they have the funding, they have all the resources they need to do something like that. And I believe they will dominate in that field in the near future because it's Google, they got everything they need. And I believe Opal is their next step in achieving that. This is something that I would recommend that you start using. It's really easy to set up. It's not a typical automation tool that you would use like many of the other ones that are out there, but it is something that is early in that step where it can automate basic things for you and help you build mini apps in different ways. But this is something that is completely free and I'll leave a link to this in the description below so that you can easily get started as well as to Opal. You can obviously use Opal separately, but this is something that is now integrated with super gems. But that's basically it, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value out of it. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel. Join the newsletter, join Discord, follow us on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.